Hello everyone, my name is Caster and welcome to episode 5 of Secret of Mana. Last time, we saved Pandora from the evil clutches of Thanatos, but he still made off with both Dialuk and Fauna. Prim is noticeably upset about it. But we have some more pressing matters at hand, and that being, we have to get Popoi back home. Because Popoi is more important than Prim. Also, notice, Gemma said he was going to the Underground Palace, and well, here he is. Also, we have the Village Elder here. Let's talk to Gemma and see what they have to say. The thieves, the thieves are below. Next, they'll hit the Underground Palace. I'll handle the palace. You check this place out. Keep alert. We don't know what lies below. Thieves? What thieves? Ah, there it is. Notice our mana power is one. No, I did not miss anything. What can make a hole this big? I did not miss something. The game does not explain that. I literally, all I did was grind. I did not speak to any NPC save for... Uh, an innkeeper here in Gaia's Navel. Well, what the game did not tell us is we need to go to the Water Palace. Prim, come on. Also, notice my spear is now red. Uh, I would like to show that I have the Sprite Spear, which has a unique on-hit command, or I should say effect, of ballooning enemies. It does the balloon effect when it strikes enemies. Also, the sword is useful against slimes and lizards, as is the chakra. The bow has no special effect, but the axe is good against fish and plants. Now, I am going to have... Randy with the sword, because, well, it is his sword. Oh, oh, see, there, it just, it spaced out that lullabud. When they're spaced out, they liter will literally just stand there completely vulnerable. That makes this weapon very powerful. But we need to go to the, man the uh, water palace and talk to Luca. So we're going to take control of Randy. Unfortunately, Popoe... You're gonna have to wait here, bud. You're, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. More pressing matters are at hand. Air delivery for 50 GP. Also, you notice my money is a little bit lower than uh, it used to be. That is because I, I decided to break down and buy some fairy walnuts. I believe I also bought four honey elixirs just in case. But yeah, I wanted the fairy walnuts just because I don't want to run into another situation like I did against the evil wall. Or the evil face, or whatever it's called. I don't think we're ever going to run into that situation ever again, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not. But my mana power is off. So something is strange. I, it should be it too. We're missing the water power, so we're going to go up here, we're going to talk to Sage Luca. The mana seed of water was stolen. I couldn't do anything about it. They must have done it when Un with, uh, they must have done it when Undine was in danger and out of power. The water tells me they took it to Ga Gaia's navel, or deeper. I don't think they're from the Empire. Please, hurry and bring it back. Okay. So that is what we were supposed to hear before going back to Gaia's Navel, but I beelined it to Gaia's Navel and, well, did things out of order. Gemma just straight out says, I'm going to the Underground Palace. Doesn't say why. That I can recall anyway. But we have to go get that Mana Seed back. Now, I cannot remember if if I can go to the upper land yet, or if I have to walk. Oh, 
my god, these weapons are getting good. Did it play the animation twice? Hi, travel special. So yeah, we can go. We can go to Gaia's Navel. Eventually, this guy is going to no longer allow us to go to Gaia's Navel. We're gonna have to go to uh, the Upper Land later. Although we did just get Popui's uh, memory back, unfortunately, we, again, have more pressing matters at hand, and that is, well, saving the water sea. There we go. And we're just gonna use Watts' back door. Also notice, Neko's gone. Now, it is worth mentioning that at this point in the game, if you do not have the escape rope, the magic rope, that... Yeah, I did buy four of these and four of those. Very, very useful. If you do not have the magic rope, they will tell you to go get it. So if you're not, you know, didn't pick it up like I did earlier, then yeah. And here we are the underground ship. This looks straight out of Final Fantasy V, I'm not gonna lie. Got a Whip's Orb. Very nice. Aha! The Water Seed! How'd you get in here? Realize we can't let you leave. Welcome. We, the Scorpion Army, will rule the world. Check it out! Shut up! We took the water seed to complete our Super Deluxe robot. We call it Kilroy. Abba, abba. Do it! Aye, aye, sir! Go get them now! See ya! Farewell! Goodbye, children! Kilroy! Hey, what's wrong? Too much energy! It's out of control! No! Remove the seed! Use auxiliary power! Now, Kilroy does not have a uh, elemental weakness. It is all a game of staying away from him when he walks very, very slowly, and avoiding the Moogle. Now, as I said, he will Moogle you, but he does have a phase two. Notice how he walks very, very slowly. There we go. If you hit him, it does stun him a little bit. Lunar boost. Attack up, evade down. Now. Um, yeah, I think it's time for a healing spell. That is level two. Kilroy's magic faded, which is good. As you would expect of a level two spell. Now, the weapon charges, as slow as he moves, it is worth using your weapon charge. Randy's Moogled! No! Hey, Prim. You, uh... You mind helping me out here? I don't mind too much about Popui being Moogled. I'm kind of saving his attack. But, so... Randy doesn't really have anything else going for him other than his charge attacks. Ow. Okay, so he is now in Phase 2. Uh, there's not really much difference between his Phase 1 and Phase 2, except that he also gets um, a little bit faster. Level 2 Gem Missile does, like, no damage. That's very not good. 
Hopefully, do you mind? Uh, yeah, use a candy on Brim. Ah, darn it, he moogled me. Oh, 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 I just realized. Um, yeah. Wolverine's at 5 HP. Well, at least I can hold a charge while I'm a Moogle. Not that it lasts. Oh, nice! It absorbed 86! Darn it. Yeah, when it's doing the spinny thing, it... It, uh, it will Moogle you. It is a bit of a problem, but it, it will eventually be no longer an issue. And that is Kilroy. You see what I was saying about going forward, it's, you know, the hit detection isn't going to be as jank as long as you pay, pay attention. It does get better as it goes on. You get more tools, you get more MP, you can rely more on your weapons. Got a Javelin's Orb. Nuts! Oh well. See ya! Bye! Recovered the Mana Seed. Let's bring it back to the Water Palace. But first... Randy, stop turning around. Talk to... Randy? Talk. To. Your. Elder. You're safe. Somehow. You seem older. Jim took off with some Pandoran soldiers. Okay, so he just says the same thing. We're gonna have to come back here as well. But, you know what? We got a couple new orbs. Okay, which one's ready? Well, we have the pull dart, which is now the javelin, and we have the whip, which is now the black whip. All right, now, can we see? So, the whip has a special mechanic. I don't know if it's on every version of the whip from here on out, but I know that it is at least on this one, where it can wind around enemies and actually slow them down. Very useful. Also, javelin, no special effect. That does mean we now have at least everything at level 2. Um, I'm going to keep Popoe with his spear, and we're going to give Prim the, uh, the whip. Because the whip is just useful. The spear right now is probably the best weapon. I think, damage-wise, it is the strongest. That's 41. 43. Yeah. Yeah, the spear has the highest attack power. On top of being... The, uh... On top of its effect, which can actually completely stun enemies and lock them down. The Sprite Spear is a darn good weapon. But I am going to have to go back to the Water Palace. Fortunately, I can take the cannon travel there. But I am going to kill some things. On the way. I'm half tempted to just kind of walk slowly. Ranged weapons. They're amazing. They mess up flying enemies. Oh, the lullabug wasn't there. That's 
actually kind of weird. Is it worth walking? Nah. For expediency's sake, we're gonna we're, we're actually gonna travel. Cannon travel, that is. Air delivery. Water palace. Have a nice flight. Just slide into the cannon. Do you know Bon Voyage? By the way, you don't look anything like him, but. Bon Voyage, by the way, for those that have not played Trials of Mana, is the guy who actually develops the uh, the cannon travel system in Trials of Mana. And then, like, maybe a chapter later is completely obsolete when you get uh, Booscov. Ifish! Ifishes are out. Okay, this is not good. These guys were not here earlier. This is where the axe would actually be really useful. Wait, is it the axe? I cannot remember. I think it's the axe that's good against fish and lizards. Plants and fish. Slimes and lizards. Okay, so let's give Popoe the axe for now since we're fighting fish. Sahagan! Ooh. At least I think those are Sahagan. Water Thug. They're called Sahagan in Trials. Water Thug gets whacked. Passed right through. Completely whiffed. There's enemies in the Water Palace. Never thought I'd see the day. Or did I? Yeah, I knew this was coming. Ooh, Popo we leveled up. Only slightly less HP than Prem. Get out of here, fast! Who do we have here? I'm Geshtar of the Empire. Under that seat, or Lucas had it. Don't! Idiot! Ouch! Jump! So glad to see the seeds here. Too bad we have to break the seal. Stop it! Well, nice to have met you all. As a little gift, I'd like to have you... Uh, as a little gift, I'd like you to have my little pet. Remember to feed him now! The Jabberwocky! is a lizard, so we're going to switch over to... Ow. Hey, uh, friend? Do you, uh... Well, I'm not that low. Now, this guy hits like a bloody truck. In case you couldn't tell. Oh! Oh, this is bad! Prim, Prim, please, please, Prim. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, this is very bad. Um, Randy, heal yourself. Okay. Um. Okay. Whew, we're back. Yeah, he completely just chained something to me. Was going to say a word there and decided against it. 
Pole Dart is probably the worst weapon in the game. Really? Ugh. So, you've probably noticed that in this game, enemy animations always take precedent over your actions, no matter what it is. If you attack them, and they're in the middle of an animation, your attack fizzles. If they attack you, and you're in the middle of an animation, you, whatever it is you're doing, fizzles. It sucks. Hopefully. Okay, I could really go with not being... Prim, please. Defense up. Everybody. Also, you probably noticed that we all got knocked down. There is a certain threshold of HP that if you take... She's MP. That's bad. There is a certain threshold of MP that... Or HP that if you take a hit... More than, uh, more than a certain value, a certain percentage, I think it's 25%, you get knocked down. Randy's magic faded. That didn't last very long, did it? Pure water level. Whoa! Baby! That was a lot. Ow. I hate how I can't get close to this guy to hit him. I think she's out. Yeah, she's out completely. I'm going to stick to using my candies until I absolutely need to use them. Level 3 sword attack. Go! 63 damage. That healing for 500 was a bit bogus. See what I mean? I was in the middle of a, a level 3 attack animation. It swung at me. It immediately overrode my attack. No matter what it was. That's what I mean when I say that... It, it's not fair. It just it genuinely is not fair. Because it's not applied equally. It is that... The player is always recessive in that all attacks that the enemy do always take priority and I do not like that. But we've got the Bose Orb. Switch back to Randy and of course, you know, we've got to reapply the seal, so... Randy needs his sword. Gemma. How did you get in, and why did you not help? The Imperial forces have drawn back. We managed to defeat their monsters in Pandora, too. I've got this one from... I got this from one of them. You should have it. Ooh, cool. We got... We got another whip sword. Nice. Randy, we're running out of time. I'll return home and stop the Empire there. Only a restored mana seed can defeat the fortress. Talk to the cannon travel mana potos. He'll send you to the upper land. So that is how we're going to get to the upper land. Now, use your sword to restore the seal. Put it on the seed. All too happy. Received the seed's power. And if we go back to our status menu... 
Once again, we have mana power of level 2. Pure evil seeks the seed now. You must hurry and revive the mana sword. Go to the lofty mount mountains and see Sage Jacques to learn about real courage. Then, go to all eight of the world's palaces and reactivate all of the seeds. You will be able to receive the mana power from the seeds once you reactivate them. I had business with Sage Luca. Goodbye for now. In other words, that's a kids go out and play. Mommy and Daddy have talk. You know, have uh, something to talk about. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. All right. So we need to go back to to uh, Gaia's navel real quick. For two reasons. One, we need to forge our new weapons. And number two, remember that elder I was talking to? He has something for us. Also, it'll be useful to uh, restore my items that I used. So I used a couple... Two Cups of Wishes and, I think, three candies. Mushboom. Mushboom's tangled. So, you saw there where it said uh, they're tangled? The Black Whip can uh, slow enemies down as if I had cast the Entangled spell on them. It's free Entangled spell. Now, remember how Gemma said that this guy will now take us to the Upper Land? Do not do it. Not yet. You have to manually walk to Gaia's Navel now. The Cannon Travel Guy will not take you to, uh... Will not take you to the Gaia's Navel anymore. Alright. There's a couple things we gotta do. But first off, we gotta get powered up. Now, again, I'm not going to be doing any grinding, although now would be a very good time to do it if you're trying to avoid leveling up too much. Although if uh, my performance has been any indicator, I am not very high level. Right, so here we are in Pandora. We're gonna pop into the item shop. We're just gonna replenish all of these. Don't, don't think I could buy. Yeah. Excellent. We're back up to 4K, which is nice. We do need to replenish our MP as well. Boy, I cannot wait to get Luna! Luna is one of the elemental spirits that we'll see much, much later in the game. But Luna gives a specific spell to Popoe that makes them absolutely broken. And I can't wait until that day. Oh, hey, Pandora's got the nice music. Randy's weapon skill up. Javelin reaches level two. Very nice. So we're actually going to give the Javelin to Popoy. Nice, we got 16 GP from it. In the chest. Switch over to Prim for a while. We haven't played as Prim for a while. Medical herbal won't fit. Actually, let's see. So, I think all I did last time was the whip, which can now go up again. Yeah. Yep. 
It was just the whip and the, um... Nice, Prim's weapon skill up, which means we're gonna give that to now Randy. This is basically just how I do it. Close these tangled. Oh! You thought you could attack me. Yeah, I don't think so. But we're back on Popoy. We're getting close to Kippo Village. Ooh, loot. Free loot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We no longer have to make this walk. Granted, it's good for weapon experience, but aside from weapon experience, it's not really good for much else. Prim, what are you doing up there? You're not supposed to be up there. You know, the AI's pathfinding is not the best. Man, I have just been savage on this game. But I'm gonna be perfectly honest, this game is not as good as people remember it to be. It's just when it came out, it was one of the best. For its time. But the preceding years, or I should say the, you know, the, 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 the succeeding years, the, the, the next few. Between 1992 and 1995, uh, this game came out in 92, 93. By the time 1995 came out, there were better games. They just made this one not half as good. Heck, even Secret of Evermore was better. And that's saying something, because that game wasn't the best either. Alright, Watts. Talk to me. We can do the short bow into... The long bow. The black whip into... The backhand whip. Is that it? Just the two? So it's these three weapons are basically the ones that I'm currently working on. Now, let's see if they have any new special effects. Well, the backhand whip raises agility and evade percent, which is good, because we lost that when we sw uh, upgraded the Herald Sword. Um, the Longbow is going to be good against animals, birds, and beasts. Uh, going into the upper land, this is going to be very, very good. Um, javelin is still... Nah. Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's go to upper land. Hopefully. This one's for you, bud. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the Cannon Travel Dude here in Guy's Navel. Um, moving forward from that, I'm going to use that to go to Pandora and then into, into the upper left.
Wow, 71 from the longbow. Very nice. Although I, I do think it was a stacked hit from both Randy and Prim. Oh, nice. Popoo's Javelin hit level 2. Travel Center. No, I do want to control Popoe for this, though. Air Delivery for 50 GP. They're a little moody in Pandora. Not anymore. I just saved them all. Boom. Now, fair warning, this is a point of no return. Just like jumping down the ledge after Mount Moon as you go into Cerulean City, you will not be able to return back to this area of the game for some time. So, make sure you've got everything you need. Go to Neko's, buy whatever you need from, from him. Make sure you've got all your weapons upgraded. If you're going to do any level grinding prior to getting decent experience, now would be the time to do it. Normally, now is when I would do it, but the way the game has been going, we're just going to go in as we are. As I said, no, I will not be doing any on-camera grinding. And here we are. 50 GP per trip. We're going to go to the Upper Land. The Upper Land is huge. Reach it by going through the Great Forest. Just slide into the cannon. Great Forest Indeed. Moogles! Popoy, your home's here in the Great Forest, right? Well, lead on. Um... Huh? I, uh... I hit my head again when we landed. Lovely. This might take a while. Boo. Listen, he's laughing. No, crying. Pebblers have taken over their village. Moogles don't say poo, they say kupo. It's a baby moogle! Oh crap. I just realized I didn't go to Gaia's navel and talk to the elder. So, if you do what I did not, and you go talk to the elder, you'll get what is known as the midge mallet. A very useful tool if you were to get miniaturized. Which, that little baby Moogle right over here reminded me of because the baby, this little baby Moogle, is a miniaturized Moogle. Well, hey there, Watts! Fancy meeting you here! I decided to get out of that hole. Just smell this fresh air. Okay, which one's ready? I knew I was going to forget to do that. Alright, so, we are in Popoy's home, so we're going to go talk to Popoy. Or, not talk to Popoy, we're going to control Popoy. It's a silk tail! Perfect weather! What can I do for you? We're gonna buy. Alright, now if you did not get the Cobra bracelet uh, in Pandora, Neko sells them for much, much more than, than they're worth. Also sells Kung Fu Dress. The Quill Cap might be useful if you uh, need to get an upgrade for both Prim and Pavoy. Be 
seeing you. Five, two, ten. Not bad. Okay. What can I do for you? Let's save the game here. Now, I do realize that I could go back to Pandora. But I decided not to. Randy's weapon skill up. Whip reaches level 2. You see that? That is a creature that will be known later. But right now, you just gotta know it is a beast. A mana beast. Now, be very, very careful what you... when you cast your spells here. There is no in for a while. Meaning there is no known way to restore your MP other than buying fairy walnuts at a thousand GP apiece from... Neko. Grimrich level 16. Fortunately, leveling up will give you... Uh, a restored HP, but as I showed earlier, not MP. So for a while, it might be a good idea to stick to using healing items. Because 20 GP per candy is a lot cheaper. Alright. This one's very green. Very warm, in fact. Almost like summer. Now, I would like to point out, we are in the, what is colloquially known as the Forest of Seasons. Prim. We're gonna try to get some kills for Prim. Because basically what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get everybody's weapon uh, leveled up, and then I'm just gonna rotate them all between each one. Now, as I mentioned, this is the Forest of Seasons for a very specific reason. You probably noticed when we first arrived, it was all white and almost looked a bit cold. Whereas now, it is green and verdant and... The last screen we were on was all pink and flowery, almost like springtime, right? That's a silk tail. And of course, silk tails do show up right about level 16 or so in mana games. And so they are right on time. Oh, Popo, we got a level up. That's nice. Stacked all that damage on him at once. Okay, so, Prim, you can use both the Javelin and the Whip, so we're going to give you back the Whip. Randy, you've already done the Javelin, so we're going to give you the Bow. And Popoe, you've already done the Javelin. You need the bow. So why don't we actually do this? We're going to give Prim the javelin. We're going to give Randy the whip, since he's already, you know, 
working on getting level three whip. And then we're gonna give ha we're gonna have Popoe with the bow. Oh look, another water thug, a not Sahagan water thug. Now, up here, needlers or mole bears, as they're called in Trials of Mana. And yes, the Trials of Mana comparisons will continue quite a bit. Get used to it. Okay, why are all my attacks completely whiffing? Again. Okay. Um, Prim. This is one of those situations where I could really use... Okay, Prim? I said heal. That's just another situation of, you know, your attack or whatever it is you're doing being overwritten by an enemy's attack. The fact that you can issue a command like cast a spell and then it just, nope. The enemy can just nope your spell and it just doesn't fire. Which can actually cause serious situation. If you notice, Prim's HP was at 2. Is that all of them? I want to say that's all of them. But I thought something was supposed to happen. The Moogles can come back to the village now. Here we go. Kupik Popo! Oh, my head. What's wrong? Yippee! I can remember everything again! Walk the seasons from spring to winter, spring again, then we can enter. Interesting. Okay, which one's ready? None of them yet. However, we got an Axis Orb. And a Gloves Orb. Walk the season of spring to winter, spring again, and then we can enter. I do like the... the pseudo-rhyming of it. Uh, let me use an in, please. But anyway, let's level up those weapons, shall we? Okay, which one's ready? Moogle Claws. I think those do have a decent effect, if I remember right. And the Stout Axe. Moogle Claws can put an enemy to sleep. Oh, baby. And the Stout Axe just boosts up your con. Improves your defense. Very nice. I like it. It's quite a stout weapon. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Alright, so we've got to go to spring. We're in summer now. What can I do for you? We're going to buy... I did use one candy, right? No, I'm good. As I mentioned, I am in I am currently in the summer season. Okay, this is beginning to get irritating. I really do not like that whole, you know, I'm just going to interrupt all your attacks because middle finger to you. Actually, Randy can have... I don't... The, do you have anything? No, you have everything at level 2 at least. 
So, as I mentioned, Randy doesn't have anything else, but his strength is higher than everyone else's. So, I'm actually going to set him to use level 2 attacks. If he w actually, you know, would, would be nice. Ow. This is beginning to get irritating. Like, everything I'm doing is being interrupted. Oh, hey, look! For the first time, I think, in human history. An attack I did took precedent. So yeah, you probably just saw right there that the water thug got tangled. So the effect from the previous whip is still in effect, by the way. Randy. There we go. Randy's weapon skill up. So we can do the axe or the Moogle claws. We're going to do the claws. Now you don't have to fight the enemies, but you can. And I am because it's A, going to boost my experience, which, as I demonstrated last video, I desperately need. But, spring, winter, or spring, is spring, summer, why can I not speak? I don't think so. Wow, he literally just, like, blitzed right where I was going to be walking. He used level 2 cure water, did God knows how many hundreds. I do level 2 cure water and watch. Half that. I don't know why my spells are so much weaker than theirs. But... Again, just showing that the developers of this game did not know what they were doing. And of course, because my allies frequently just hover around me, when one of us gets hit, we all get hit. Which makes it almost pointless to, uh... To have a, you know, each of us having our own HP pools. Alright, so here we are in the autumn season. Owls! Rim's weapon skill up. Javelin reaches level 2. And she hit level 17. Alright, so what do you need, Lady Prim? Moogle claws are in use. You need the scout axe. The backhand whip. You need the whip. So... We're gonna give you the whip. I like that color on her, though. Like, it matches her bracers and boots. And Pope, we can... Oh, the... Level 2 bow shoots twice? 
Or is that because I hit level 3? Let's find out! Nope, level 2 only shoots once. Let's charge level 3 and find out. Yeah, level 3 shoots twice. Very nice. Alright, so... What does Poin need? Claws and axe. Whip. Whips in use. Our favorite sprite gets... A purple axe! Love it. Okay, there's... Looks like there's legitimately four enemies on screen. It literally just, like, noped out of the way when I struck. It's like, yeah, no, I'm not over there. I'm just, I'm just gonna be over here for your attack instead. I don't like the fact that you're attacking me. Alright. That was from the right. So that is us getting the message. We went from spring to winter, then spring again, now we can enter. And if I remember right... Randy, get over here. This... I'm back! What? The village is in shambles. And by the way, if you couldn't tell, this is a very similar pose and look that Charlotte uses in Trials of Mana. Trials, uh, Charlotte and Popoy have very similar animations. I'm back. What the? Village is in shambles. What on earth happened? Hey, something's here. And here we have this thing. Can I, like, hit it at all? You know what? This thing ruined Popoy's home. Let's give it some. We're not going easy on this guy. Oh, she can't cast. Oh well, I know what she can do. Item. Thing. Can you cast now? Yep, you can cast now. Nobody goes into my sprite's home and wrecks the place. Mm -mm. Not going to happen. Way to go! We got a boomerang's orb! Ooh! Elder! Talk to me, Elder. 
Grandpa! Uh, sounds like... Is that you, little tight? Grandpa, can't you see me? Empire's men came and undid the wind seal. The bright flash stunned me. The others... They're... This is awful. No! They must have escaped! I suppose so. <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> okay, okay. Tyke, we sprites are a part of mana. That beast couldn't have beat us. But humans are breaking the seals and releasing monsters. Which are consuming our source of life. Mana. I'll put a stop to that immediately. My minions can help. I'd go with you if I could see a little better. At least take Sylphid, the wind elemental, with you. You called, master? These young people are now your master. It is so. Gain Sylphid's powers. Use Analyzer to learn what magic works on crystal orbs. Use your magic on an orb if in this forest to open the way to Matango. It's said that a white dragon lives in a cave north of Matango. The dragon can help you. Now, go, and worry not about me. Grandpa, everyone, I'll be back soon. Me too. Come back whenever you're tired. Let me fix you up. Shall I save your game? Take care. Now, Grandpa. He did. Grandpa restored our MP. But as we must do is tradition. Randy. Received the seed's power. We now have our third mana power. And that is going to call it for today's episode. We have a new task. We must go to Matango and meet with a dragon. Oh boy. But do let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. I would love to find out. And, quick little aside, if you are watching this video on the day it goes live, which is going to be a Thursday, I will probably be live over on the TRG Network channel on Twitch, uh, playing a game of D&D &D with uh, a few of my good buddies. Uh, so do check us out over there. Just a quick shout out on that one. But until then, guys, catch you later.